One of the great miracles of the Qur'an, if you don't know, is the name Musa. And they don't say Musa in Hebrew, they say Mushay. So I said, what does Mushay mean? The word Mu for them is similar to the Arabic word Ma. What does Ma mean? Water. Musa is the one from water. That means that the word Musa is Hebrew. The word Musa is Hebrew. I told him, the word Musa is not Hebrew. It cannot be Hebrew. And he says, why not? Musa alayhi salam is from Bani Israel. He's Hebrew. I was like, listen, where was he born? He tells me Egypt. When he was a baby, where, would, where did he end up? In the castle of Fir'aun. Who, took, who was in charge of him? Fir'aun. So when there's a newborn baby, who will name him? The people in charge or the servant? The people in charge. And the people in charge will name him in the language of the slaves or the language of the master? The language of the master. And the language of the master is Egyptian, it's not Hebrew. But the problem with Egyptian, the Egyptian language was already dead 3,000 years when Rasulullah came sallallahu alayhi wasallam, nobody knew the Egyptian language. So if somebody asked at the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, what does Musa mean? Nobody could tell you. We live in fortunate times. We live in times where because of Egyptology, the Egyptian language was revived. So now we can go back to Egyptian and find out what, what means? Musa means. But before I tell you what it means, let me tell you an ayah from the Qur'an. Musa alayhi salam came into the castle, his foster mother, the queen, picked him up, she took him to Fir'aun, and she said, uh, you know, she said to him, Asa an yadfa'ana aw nattakhidahu waladan, maybe he could benefit us, or we could take him as a newborn. The word Musa in Egyptian means newborn. The word Musa in Egyptian means what? Newborn. She came to Fir'aun and said, maybe we could take him as a newborn, Make, maybe we could take him as a Musa. Qur'an translated Musa alayhi salam's name into waladan. The Qur'an knows the Egyptian language even when it's dead. Even when it's dead. Qur'an translates it accurately. She must have called him Musa, because Musa in, Arabic, in Hebrew, Egyptian is newborn. And Qur'an says we should take him as a newborn. We should, وَنَتَّخِذَهُ waladan. SubhanAllah.